It's just you and the Holy Ghost. He's the only God in the earth today. And if you're going to walk with God in the earth today, it's going to be with Him. Holy Ghost of God in the earth today. How to confess Holy God's Ghost Word. God how do I confess today. God's Word? Basically, how. A lot of people just don't know how. You, you talk about confessing God's Word and people just you know they have this squirrely idea about what it means and and what it does so I want to address that today if you would open with me to uh, 2 Peter 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 19 you there we have also a more sure word of prophecy whereunto you do well if you take heed so if you take heed to what he's saying here a more sure word of prophecy he's going to be talking about the scriptures if we take heed to what they're saying to us we will end up doing well you do well that you take heed as unto a light that shines in a dark place until how long are we supposed to do this you may ask well we do it until until the day dawn and the day star arise in your heart so if that hasn't happened yet then you're going to continue to do this until and I will be talking about that in the context of confessing the word that we're confessing God's word or declaring his scriptures until so we're going to be doing this until until we have the result that we're looking for that the word promises us we're not going to give up we're not just going to confess it twice we're in this for the long run and we're going to keep confessing until knowing this first that no prophecy of the scripture is in, of any private interpretation what does that mean that means that any of these scriptures in here that are promises are not of a private interpretation meaning it's only for so and so no you have to go and know this know it and own it first that these promises are to me and for me and are speaking to me you have to know that 4 verse 21 for the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man but holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost so whose will was it that they spoke these things it was the Holy Ghost the Holy Ghost who's God in the earth today moved upon these men in old times so that they could write these verses of Scripture down so am I safe to say that when I find a verse of Scripture whose will is it it's the Holy Ghost's will well isn't that wonderful that we walk with the Holy Ghost who's God in the earth today and we actually know what his will is for our life specifically and individually because it's of no private interpretation I can know exactly what God the Holy Ghost is saying to me and what his will is confession is more than just saying some scriptures we walk with the Holy Ghost who's God in the earth today by saying word confession is literally you walking with God the Holy Ghost in the earth today when you're saying God's Word you're walking with God when you're not saying God's Word you're not walking with God let's look at some verses of Scripture that say exactly that Amos chapter 3 verse 3 says can two walk together except they be agreed this is what the Bible says about walking with someone so if I'm going to walk with the Holy Ghost I'm going to have to be in agreement now the word agreement here literally means saying the same thing how am I gonna walk with the Holy Ghost it is going to be through the mechanism and the mechanics of saying the same thing as he's saying we know what he's saying by what he's already said and if I have this word that was given to holy men of old as they were moved by the will of the Holy Ghost I can simply take his words and confess them or say them out my mouth and I am going to know for a surety that I am walking with the Holy Ghost because I'm in agreement and can two walk together except they be agreed or say the same thing no so I can walk with the Holy Ghost by saying the same thing and I can know for a surety based on the Word of God that I'm walking with the Holy Ghost by saying his words this is how the Bible says you walk with God the only way that you walk with God is by saying his words 
and if you're not saying his words then you're not walking with God if you are saying his words then you are walking with God I know this is a big leap for some people but you know at some point you got to take it hmm. you want to walk with God you've got to open up your mouth and begin speaking his word and if the word saying that this is how you walk with God is by being in agreement and saying the same thing then that's just what you have to do all right if you want to walk with God let's go back to uh, Genesis Genesis chapter 3 look at verse 8 it says and they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day how was the Lord God walking in the earth it says they heard the voice of the Lord God walking if God walks by using his voice and we want to walk with God then we're going to have to use our voice we'll be saying the same things he said things we're gonna say the same things and according to the Bible that's how you walk with God you therefore walk with God by using your voice what do we mean by confession or confessing the word it means by you saying something out your mouth you saying the word of God when you say the word of God with your voice you are therefore walking with God in the earth today who's God in the earth today the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you want to walk with him and you're gonna walk with him by saying words Philippians chapter 4 and verse 19 but my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus so how do we confess God's Word you have to personalize God's Word you have to take this verse of Scripture and it says but my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus you have to personalize it remember this isn't of any private interpretation so I'm gonna take this word and I'm gonna say but my God shall supply all of my need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus so when I confess this verse of Scripture when I personalize this verse of Scripture aren't you twisting the Word of God no because the Word of God has already given this scripture to me it's of no private interpretation it is right and correct for me to put my name in there and say that this is for me you first have to come to that point when these scriptures remember he told you that he says first of all knowing this first of all knowing what that this scripture is for me and it's the Holy Ghost speaking it's the Holy Ghost will so I'm gonna say my God supplies all my need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus when I say that I am walking with God in that verse of Scripture and I use that verse of Scripture often when I have needs I'll confess that verse of Scripture and I'll be able to walk with God in it well what about a healing verse of Scripture because him supplying my financial needs doesn't necessarily supply for my physical needs so I have to go and look for what a healing verse of Scripture that I can walk with God in by Jesus stripes I was healed sickness cannot stay in my body that would be a great one when I'm confessing that when I use my voice and say that I begin to walk with God in the healing power of God when I confess Philippians 4 19 I begin to walk with God in the prospering power of God you have to say the thing that you're walking with God in as you do this as you take a verse that applies to prosperity and you take a verse that applies to maybe uh, to healing and you take a verse that applies to deliverance from all your enemies they create a general framework by which you can now rest safe that my needs are met I'm healed I'm delivered things are working out well for me you're creating a general list of things that you should say every day why do I say it every day because you're gonna walk with God every day and we do that here at the society we have a general list that we encourage people to say every day for this reason you're building a framework for your life uh, there's a man named Charles Caps he kind of describes sort of what I've been saying here and then he goes on and he gives a whole bunch of lists of scriptures that have been personalized for you and it's a great place to start I encourage you to get his material there's another great book the tongue 
a creative force by Charles Cap. He goes. He does a really good job at framing out a solid everyday confession list that will help you. And and as you begin to grow in that, you'll you'll probably like I did. I will find other scriptures that I will write between the lines of the ones that he includes in his book. But at, at any rate, I'll go through those scriptures at least once a day and know that as I'm saying that, I'm building my life, I'm framing my life by walking with God who is the Holy Ghost. So we're answering the question, how do I confess God's Word? Or how to confess God's Word? Well, you do it every day. You need to love to confess God's Word and love what it does for you and to your life. Now, I've talked about... Uh, the general verses of Scripture, the general list that, that Charles Capps would give you, and you can tailor that to specific things. The best and favorite part, you take one verse of Scripture, you write it on a card, and you begin to say it. Three by five cards. And you say, well, why, why'd you write it on a three by five card? Because I can now take this three by five card and I can take it with me wherever I go. See, it fits in a pocket or, you know, in your back pocket or something like that. And I can put it on a counter or wherever I go. I'm going to go in this room or I'm going to go in that room. And what am I going to do? Am I just carrying it so I can just carry it around and have it with me like a friend? No, I'm carrying it so that I can say it. I'm going to say it. And after I say it, I'm going to say it again. In fact, I'm going to say it all day long. All day, all day, all day long. What this does is it sets in motion that verse of Scripture. It sets in motion faith, because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. It sets in motion that verse of Scripture coming to pass in your life. You're walking with God in it. Brother, yeah, this seems extreme. Well, what degree do you want to walk with God? I'm going to show this to you. I don't do this very often either, but I've got this box over here. What do you suppose is in this box? I mean, the, the lid has literally torn off of it. I've been doing this for years and years and years. This is a stack of what? Three by five cards. Look at them all. Pick one, any one. Psalms 35 and verse 27. Let them shout for joy and be glad that favor my righteous cause. Yea, let them say continually. Let them say once, twice. No, let them say continually. So we have to discipline ourselves to say God's word continually. So after you've personalized one of these cards, you can, you can begin to say it continually meaning okay i'm gonna walk with god in this verse of scripture all day long the key to your success and prosperity in god is found in saying god's word god's word in your mouth is your key to success with walking with god if you don't have god's word in your mouth and on your voice declaring god's word you won't be walking with god and you can't be a success in god what happens if i begin to say god's word is one reason why i love this so much it's my favorite part now, i know that when i'm saying god's word i'm walking with god and things begin to happen what is in the word of god faith is in the word of god Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. So when I'm hearing it and I'm saying it, what's happening? Faith is coming. God's faith. Faith is in that Word to bring itself to pass in your life. How's it going to get from the Bible into your life? The only, there's only one way, is by you saying it. You're walking with God in His faith to bring it to pass. There's a whole other message that I preach. Now I will make this, I'll put this link down at the bottom. It's called the Faith feedback loop and it's something you need to know you need to learn how to walk with God in a verse of Scripture a verse of Scripture you take one verse of Scripture you write it on a card and you begin to say it and as you say it you hear it and as you say it the faith that is in that word God's faith begins to grab a hold of you then that faith that's in that word gets in you and causes that word that one word that you're saying to come to pass in your life I love this 
and until you learn this how to take that how to confess God's Word in a way that it will come to pass in your life you are completely missing out my friend you need to do this you need to you need to be a card carrier <laughs> really a card carrier you know this is a good way how did you could recognize a society member is they're carrying cards they're a card carrying member what's the card for the card is so that they can say God's Word continually then you'll be prosperous then you'll be successful why because what's inside that word gets in you and then affects your life what is that word going to produce in you it produces itself if I'm confessing a healing scripture all day every day what's it gonna do it's gonna produce healing in my life if I confess a prosperity scripture what's it gonna produce in my life it's gonna produce itself in my life it will produce the prosperity that is embedded in that word where do you get your faith from it's not by believing 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 no faith comes God's faith comes Romans chapter 10 verse 17 says so then faith comes by hearing and hearing the Word of God faith come and if you're saying God's Word which other verses of Scripture say that you must do if you're gonna walk with God then his faith comes look back at verse 10 with the heart man believes unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto unto what salvation healing prosperity preservation deliverance well, I need prosperity then you need to with your mouth confess and as you're confessing the faith comes and as it comes it grows until it overcomes that part of your world that you need it to overcome Holy Ghost thank you for blessing these people today I thank you that you're quickening them according to your word which is your will and they're even right now things are changing in their life as they commit to keeping your word in their mouth day and night and great things shall come to pass and you shall see says the Spirit of God the great things of me as we walk together and we agree in Jesus name be blessed <music>